it's Wednesday, which means it's time for KETK Gives Back. Every week we travel to a different part of East Texas to give first responders a free lunch. And today we are backing the blue. KETK Today anchor Isaac Ramirez joins us live from Frankston. Good morning, Isaac. Hey, good morning, Annalise. It's so good to hear from you this morning on a yucky morning. It's cold and it's raining outside. That's why we're doing gives back inside today. We're at the home of the Frankston Indians and today we are recognizing the Frankston Police Department. How are you guys doing this morning? Awesome. Ah, yes, I didn't have to make them yell. Chief Goodman here with us this morning. Chief, how is it like to work with the men and women of the Frankston Police Department? I tell you, it's a it's a wonderful experience every day to get to come to work with these guys, I should love them to death. Y'all seem like y'all are a family. We are. It seems like you just watching y'all interact with each other. It seems like y'all are a bunch of brothers and sisters. Is that how y'all would describe it? Absolutely. I mean, we work with each other each and every day. We uh, we back up one another and, and provide support for one another. And it's just, it's like a brotherhood and it's like a family. Uh, you guys are a smaller police department here in Frankston. On average, how many officers do you have working for you guys? Uh, we have a, a total of eight sworn personnel. Uh, usually there's three on. And yeah. why do why do small town police departments matter? Well, because people matter. You know, in our communities, regardless of the size, they deserve to have protection and service of a, of a law enforcement department. So we're inside today. We're in city council chambers here in Frankston because it's just awful outside. It's raining. It's so cold this morning. People need to calm down right on the roads. People need to be careful. We've already seen, unfortunately, some fatalities involving first responders this year because people just don't slow down. What kind of advice do you have for folks? Anytime you see uh, law enforcement or, or text dot uh, on the side of the road with their lights activated, please slow down and uh, move over to, to the left as far as you can if it's safe to do so. Uh, we we want to protect our, our inf enforcement officers and our text dot personnel. Well, Chief Goodman, I want to meet your canine officer here, so let's talk to the handler, Officer Coates. How are you doing this morning, I'm Officer Coates? Fine. And so who, who is this behind you this morning? This is K-9 Boris. He's our two-year-old German Shepherd. He's been on the streets about uh, a year now and doing a fine, fine job for our department. He is very loving. He just wants to play games. Always. But he's also been good at busting some cartel money and everything, right? Yes, sir. He is actually a, all said and done, about a $15,000 all said and done with the program. Uh, he was purchased with 100% drug money seized. Uh, one of the individuals told us the money came from the cartel, so. So we're putting money that would otherwise be used for bad things to good use yes, by getting you guys a canine officer. That is awesome. You guys are amazing. That's why we're recognizing you today. We appreciate everything that you do for your community. Again, this is KETK Gives Back, where every single week we recognize a different group of first responders in East Texas. This is all made possible by Peters. A big, big thank you to Peters Chevrolet for allowing us to do this each and every week. Peters actually made a $5,000 dollar donation to the ARP Police Department and they plan on doing that again and I cannot wait to find out who else is going to get five thousand dollars. Reporting live from Frankston, I'm Isaac Ramirez. Back to you Annalise. Thank you for that Isaac. Tell Boris I said hi.